Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully set up hosting and a new WordPress theme from WP Zoom. I'm going to go right from scratch from purchasing the hosting to installing WordPress to getting started with a WP Zoom theme. The whole process is only going to take a couple of minutes. So the first thing to do is to get yourself some hosting. We recommend SiteGround. You can find them at siteground.com. And they have a number of features which make them um, a really good host to go with. They have um, some really good WordPress specific features, which you can get as part of their plans. They have really good WordPress specific support, and they're also inexpensive. As well as all that, you get a free domain name with your hosting purchase. So you can get a website address free with your hosting. So they're a really good deal and we thoroughly recommend um, checking out SiteGround. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with the startup plan, but you can also go for the grow big, which would be best for medium sized websites. So lets you have multiple websites or go geek, which will let you have um, a lot of traffic onto your site. And these two also come with some premium WordPress features, including 30 days of backups available um, and a WordPress super cache. Whereas this one comes with um, some essential WordPress features, but there are a lot included in here um, that you'll probably want. So we're going to get started right away. And first you'll see that um, we can register our free domain. So I'm going to go for WP Zoom demo and then change that to .com. But you can choose um, to either transfer in your domain, register a new domain, and so on. This is free with the purchase of hosting as well. You'll be able to see if the domain name you've wanted is available, and we can see this one is, so we can continue with the registration. You can enter your email and a password, and then you can enter your address and payment details. I'll do this now and then skip forward in the video. Once you've entered your address and payment details, you can choose, um, so here we've got the startup plan. You can choose the data center. If you press on um, the icon there, you can choose between different data centers. And you want to have this close as possible to where most of your traffic is coming from. So at WP Zoom, we have most of our traffic from the US. So I'm going to set the data center to Chicago. You can then set the period. So 12, 24, 36 months. Just for this demo, just because we're setting this up, I'll set this to a trial um, of one month. We've got the free domain. We can also have domain privacy if we'd like to. So this is nine pounds or about $12 per year. And this will protect your personal information um, that becomes available when registering a domain name. So there's a central database of who owns every single website address, every single domain name. And if you don't want to have this, um, then you can tick domain privacy, which I'll do so here. You can also choose to have hack alert monitoring on. This will check your website daily um, and alert you if you have any problem. There are plenty of other WordPress tools such as WordFence, which will do this um, quite capably for you. You want to confirm that you've read and agreed to the SiteGround terms of service, and then you can pay now. Once the purchase has gone through, we can proceed to the customer area, and we can now get our site set up in a couple of minutes. We'll see we have the option to get WordPress pre-installed on this account and then proceed. You can choose your login details. I'm just going to generate a secure password here using LastPass. You can choose uh, to have a WordPress theme installed by default, um, but as we know, you're going to want to have a nice theme from WP Zoom later on. Submit those details and um, WordPress is going to be installed. And you can see how it literally takes 30 seconds, which is one of the great reasons to use SiteGround for this. Once that's done, you can log into your site. So I'll just grab the admin URL here. We'll go to that. We can log in. I'll just enter the username and password. And you can see in merely moments, we're set up with a new WordPress installation at wpzoomdemo.com. A number of plugins have been pre-installed, such as Jetpack. You can do things such as get that set up, um, but we're gonna focus on the themes for now. Let's get our WP Zoom theme installed. We'll go to Appearance and then Themes and then Add New and then Upload Theme. I'm now going to head over to the WP Zoom member area and I'm going to download the theme that I'd like to have. So that'll be Foodica. Just press Download here. Save that to my computer. And now let's head back to the dashboard. We'll um, drag and drop from the taskbar onto Choose File or you can just press Choose File there. 
press install now and WordPress is going to upload and install the theme. We can activate and we're going to have the WP Zoom theme activated right away. We've got a separate video showing you how to get started with um, and how to install WP Zoom themes. Um, so I'll just do some very basic setup here. Um, we'll just first off install the required plugins and then activate them. And then I'll install some demo content just so you can see how quickly you can be set up um, with a new WP Zoom theme and hosting um, when using SiteGround. We'll just deal with the ratings widget. And um, once that's done, let's head back to WP Zoom. We'll go to import and export demo content and let's just load up the demo content. This is going to take a couple of moments just to load all of the demo content that you'll find on the demo for the theme at wpzoom.com. And once that's done, we're going to have a lovely new site ready to go, which is the perfect base for doing customization. I'll just skip regenerating thumbnails, but we'll load the default widget settings. Um, we'll configure the menus. Let's do that now. And then the next step is done. So let's just set up our menus as well. Um, so we'll just add top menu, the main menu and the footer menu. We'll need to set up the Instagram widget separately as well. Just in a couple of moments, you can see just how quickly you can be set up with a new theme from WP Zoom. That's all ready to go and provides a great base for doing further customization. That's all there is to it. If you have any further queries or need any further help with setup, you'll find more details at wpzoom.com. Look for support and then documentation. Each theme has its own setup details there. You can also get in contact with our support team. Um, again, head to wpzoom.com and click on support. So I hope this video has been helpful. Enjoy your new WordPress site and thank you very much for watching.